Hello, glorious families. Welcome on board on this channel. This is a family TV. Call me Mommy Glorious and I say Merry Christmas in advance to you all. And I pray for you that you make it into the new year 2024, which is going to be a beautiful year. So just in case you're doubting this news, I have just confirmed on Google that this news is true. Yes, truly the Pope Francis had approved same-sex marriage that the priest can go ahead and start blessing them. And to me, well, I felt, wow, I was surprised. But a lot of people, when I rushed into the comment section, because I actually saw this news on Instagram, I didn't believe what I saw until I rushed down to the comment section and I was able to confirm. But yet, I penned my video since yesterday. I said, no, I was not going to make this video until I confirm. Then on Google today, I went straight to Google this and I saw it. Guess what I put on Google? I said, what is new about Pope Francis? And truly, it is true. It has been approved by him that the priest of the Catholic Church can now start blessing same-sex marriage. This is what uh, the Google said. That's what came out like a headline. So Pope Francis made a historic change to Vatican policy on Monday, allowing priests to bless same-sex couples. Some LGBTQ Catholics, including Jaworski, said the policy change may bring about a, a longer waiting healing to queer people who had faced the church's decades of institutional rejection. So, well, the Pope is saying that the essence of doing this is to help those who have been facing re rejection for decades. They can now be blessed with their beautiful couples who are put to be their same sex. Well, this is really surprising to me. I must tell you, this is surprising. But, you know, having confirm confirming this, I want to rush down to the comment section and I'm taking you along with me. So where I found it, the comment section was filled with a lot. Like people were so mad at this news. A lot of people reacted in a different way. So this is how the news came by, like an headline. I saw it on Worshippers Hub. So here, there's this person, is a man. So he, he was trying to explain further what the Pope meant by his statement. I would really love to see the video of this news in case you have it. So here it is. He said, Pope Francis say, says priests can bless same-sex couples. You must have seen this news making headlines and you might be wondering what the Pope meant. What was it, what the Pope meant by this statement? Now the guy said, don't be, don't get it twisted. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, hasn't changed the original idea of marriages as rooted in the scriptures. Marriage is still a union between a man and a woman. Same-sex unions are considered unlawful by the Catholic Church. It is one thing to bless... This is where the matter is, because I, I am confused. Can you tell me the difference between this? It is one thing to bless same-sex couples, but another thing to bless same-sex marriage or unions. So the guy is saying that Pope did not bless same-sex couples, but his blessing, same-sex, I don't understand. He says, say, Pope did not bless same-sex um, union, but he's blessing the couple. So I really don't know what's the difference between blessing the couple and blessing their union. Is that a different? I don't know. If you know, please put it down. So put it down in the comment section. It says, everybody can be blessed, including those who live in irregular situations. When same-sex couples are blessed, it's not their union that is blessed, but the individuals, human beings, persons themselves, like how? Then it says, with the declaration of fiducia supplicants issued by the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith, approved by Pope Francis, it will be possible to bless same-sex couples, but without the without any type of ritualization or offering the impression of a marriage. Mm -hmm. The doctrine regarding marriage does not change, and the blessing that does not, and the blessing does not signify approval or endorsement of the union. The declaration reiterated that, according to the 
perennial Catholic doctrine. Only sexual union between a man and a woman in the context of marriage are considered lawful. So this person is just simply saying that <coughs> Pope Francis did not actually bless the union of same-sex same marriage or bless their marriage. He's only blessing them as couples. Please, what is the difference between these two? Because I don't think there's any difference blessing them as couples or blessing them as <coughs> in the marriage or <coughs> in union. Anyway, all I see here is just, you know, maybe this person has a better idea or explanation towards what the father said. But uh, thankfully, I was born in Catholic, even though I didn't grow up in Catholic. I have my own blood sister like a mom my oldest sister she's not just a reverend sister but she's a mother so i will just send this video to her as soon as i'm done i will share the link with her i want her to explain further because i know she has a lot to say and i know she will be aware of this her name is sister reverend sister antonia falope so please sis wherever you are as soon as you receive this video be cool explain things to us so anyway, let's read some other comments. We got another comment that came in. Somebody said, who is it to approve that? He is equally human as I am. Why need his approval or vice versa? Seek your maker, not man. Seek spirituality, not religion. Okay. Somebody said, are you surprised? I'm not. Any religious group that does not have the spirit of God will lead people into all kinds of abomination and things that God hates. Then another person said, rebuke Satan, principalities, and new age, Sodom, and Gomorrah spirits. Everything reached full circle as we in final stages. Then somebody said, surely this is pure perversion and ungodly. However, there are still remnants that are still old faults for Jesus Christ. Okay, another comment said, people worship him instead of God. This is not a church. It's another name for Romans. Okay, not surprised he is coming out publicly with what they've been doing privately for many years. They are the cause of all this messing up with people. Someone said Catholic Church is getting more exposed. Okay, so another comment says, So he practically said to go against the Bible, the only words of the living God, because the Pope perceives himself above the Creator. Ridiculous. Vatican, a nest of pedof pedophiles and murderers. Okay. Someone says, Catholic Church is getting more. Okay, I've read that. You are just on this picture here. Yeah. Zoom in on his necklace to see what's on his cross he's wearing. Like low. They are not hiding who they worship in. Like people, open your eyes, open your heads come on okay so actually i did not even discover these comments i just screenshot a whole bunch of comments i never even saw this comment so this comment says we should zoom the necklace and then we're going to discover something i will try and do that then it says okay in fact let me just do that right away let me let me try and zoom the let me quickly do the let's be practical let me just zoom this and see what's going on there so if you then thankfully I, I screenshot this what's on this picture oh lord jesus who is this this is not jesus this is not jesus on his cross who is this is this jesus because i just decided to zoom this is not jesus no this is not jesus is that Jesus? Is that the picture of Jesus? Who is this? Anyways, so let's keep reading. I was just trying to be practical to what that person said, what that comment say. That's why I love comment session because even things you don't pay attention to, people will pay. I don't know who this person is, except you want to tell me this is one of Jesus' disciples. Anyway, let me go back to the comment section. I'm surprised I never noticed that comment. So this one said, whoa, I knew the Catholic Church was de demonized 
but never thought they would bluntly, blatantly advise, advertise it. Okay, I'm sorry. Somebody said he needs to stop playing with God. That's on, that's an abomination. He knows better. He's twisting and turning things to please man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that that's possible because that's what people do now. There was one news where I don't know what happened in the US here. It was like a national celebration. I think was it on yeah, on the swearing of Biden, I think President Biden. There was this uh I can't remember. There was this, there was this uh, one of the leaders, maybe national leaders that prayed. He said, oh, wait, I think he's one of our leaders here. One of our executives here. I can't remember who that person is, but that person is, that person is actually an American. He was, he's one of the leaders. And then, he, could you believe, he prayed and he said, when he wanted to round up the prayer, he said, in the name of every other God." that we uh, other people that everyone here is is serving no what is written on this uh um on this national uh flag is in god we trust this is a country that trusts in god so if you are praying pray in god's name in jesus name it doesn't if any leader any national leader doesn't want it let them go to anywhere they should go to places for all I care. This, we serve God, the real God. America, in God we trust. You can't take that off. In God we trust. It will remain there for life. It's not going to be changed. Because your ancestors rely on God. Yes. So in God we trust. In God I trust. America, in God we trust. Yes. If you believe, say it in the comment section. In God we trust. Type it there. Let the devil be ashamed. So, he says, who cares? He is not God. He cannot modify the Bible to fit a single. This, only that is what the Catholic Church is BS. I don't know what that BS means. Then he said, the Pope, someone said the Pope wants everyone to be happy, but this is wrong. Mm. Mm. Someone said, then he should approve polygamous individuals to bless their marriages too. Mm sad day to go against the scriptures whatever you hear me say is another person's comment so just flow through with me uh we've known that satan has this pope for a long time me i've been hearing that i've been hearing a lot about pope pope francis in particular so i don't know somebody said he's nothing but a homosexual popo the homosexual i'm not sure Somebody said this one that will die very soon as I prove that. Jesus. Somebody says God sees all this. Not sure why you are all surprised. Corrupt from the start. Someone will hear. Depart from me. Bless as in approve of their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Wow. Someone said Antichrist in reality. Someone said the Lord Jesus must just come and close this chapter. So, honestly speaking, yesterday my, my niece was like, please, where will this this this, this uh, uh, rapture should just sound on time. The, the bell should ring. Because a lot is happening. The Lord Jesus was okay. Another person said, abomination in my mama Jean voice. Somebody said, church, we are all already tired to go. Then just help me stop well, uh, mm, the last days are here. Okay, let me look for BB comments. This one said, I will miss my Catholic church, but I know for sure the Catholic community in Africa is not up to 20% aware of the secrets and hidden practices hiding inside Vatican. So many things are going on and the African church, African church community is not aware. We are just dedicated and believe what we have been told. We love Christ so much more than the church itself. That's true. Then another person said it is finished. <laughs> Somebody said, I mean, there is no shocker here. Somebody said there is a pure revelation of the ending time. Okay, he said this is a pure revelation of the ending time. Someone said the Antichrist has spoken. Someone said, Kali Church is sick. 
They are the reason the European evaded all these countries and killed so many people. And they are the leading pedophile or whatever. So someone said the Pope is nothing more than a representative of Satan here on earth. Someone said, get ready, Antichrist all the way. Do you know Jesus is coming soon because the right here is an abomination? This right here is an abomination. He can't do that. Another person said, end time has come. Wow, big news. Sad and sick. In the last day, false words. In the last day, false words. Not surprised. They have been doing this secretly in Catholic. Stylishly coming out open. End time signs. At this point, we need to seek God more as believers. Now, some people may come and say, the Bible tells us not to judge. Well, yes, we are not judging, but the truth won't be hidden because you are satis you are justifying your wrong by using God's word. It is wrong and it, is, it can't be hidden. Oh, Lord, help our generation. Okay, another person said, you, are, you all are talking what was said out of context. If you actually read what was said, you will see that the popo still stands on marriage being rooted in scripture and in no way does it support same-sex marriages. But what does it, what does it mean that he will discriminate against them and refuse to bless them? Everyone can be blessed by God. God is coming soon. Another comment. Yes, I will have some. Okay, that's it. So that's it. Anyway, my own point, I already have a lengthy video. My own point here is that hold on to God's sight. Because today, even if today and I hear or tomorrow, I hear that, oh, my Gio has Bante or has Juju on him. I will not be surprised. Because as it is now, you can serve pastors. You can you can say in the name or I pray in the name of so so person's God. Just pray, pray in God in your own name. Me, I pray in the name of God of my name because I know the God that I serve. Ah, I bless you. Please try as much as you can to hold on to your God. The world is crumbling, crumbling everywhere. Area don't scatter like everywhere is getting hotter than fire. Hold on to your God, have a personal relationship with God, and that is the only way you can cope in this end time. It is no longer funny. God bless you. Don't forget to read your Bible every night with your children, your husband, your wives. Make sure the family is under the umbrella of God. Keep praying. Keep studying the word of God together. Eat together. Dying together. Nurture our children. God bless you all. And see you all again in another news. Bye.